Hey everyone, thanks for joining my video. Today I want to give you a little overview of Google Cloud Functions which I recently migrated to from Amazon AWS. The reason that I like Google Cloud is that it just seems to me a lot simpler to use. So I want to give you a little overview of um, my API that I use on my website and um, some of the files involved. So this is my website here. Uh, it's a view app and then I have a cloud folder. So pretty much the easiest way to deploy multiple functions is to have a single function which um, is called the, the API on the, the live deployment here and they have an index file which has uh, like an express server and you have paths that come in and then you route to your various other routes so you don't have to deploy multiple cloud functions, you can just have one function for the API. So let me just show you how it's done. So what I do is I write it in TypeScript and then I convert it to JavaScript and that's what is uploaded. So um, I have some simple cores protection for my domain here. So when I deploy it to production, I set in an environment to be able for that called production. And I only want requests from my own website. Um, and then pretty much uh, I just have a contact folder where I route contact requests to and feature I'll add more. But basically you could have any number of different other sub functions in here which um, you could use. So contact file here I've imported so pretty much it just sends a message to me um, from from like a request so that's what it does got send and then I handle the, the response back on the view app so that, well, it's an access call to the URL and um, yeah so that this gets compiled to TypeScript sorry to JavaScript so this is the, the TypeScript file here and its output is, the, is this and this is what I upload to, to, to Google Cloud. So I'll just show you my deploy to cloud bash script here. So what we do is we um, we just set some, some variables here, Google Cloud bin, you need to download the Google Cloud API. And then what we do is do functions deploy, um, Google Cloud functions is, a, is a, you know, uh, an API command. And then we just uh, run on, on Node.js, on when I trigger HTTP calls, set the project, region and then we just um, when we deploy it we set the uh, the node pr process.environment variable location to production. Now I did try setting some of these um, things via the environment YAML but um, for whatever reason I wasn't getting it uh, pulled into the project on deployment so that's why we have this rather annoying environment you know flags being set here like this which I don't really like but it, it served its purpose. And in terms of local testing, um, you have when I'm when, when I'm writing cloud functions locally, I use what's called the, the functions framework, which is a new framework that's replacing a, a more uh, more complicated emulator. Later, but what you can do is you can you can run these functions locally. And the cool thing is also in WebStorm, um, you can hook into the functions framework and debug your your cloud functions in WebStorm uh, or your other IDE. Um, before you deploy it to the cloud if you want to find any, any issues stuff like that and you can also debug it on the cloud there's some services for that I might make a video for, for that later on um, so yeah this is uh, the functions uh, this is Google Cloud Functions very powerful I, I like the um, the approach the way they've built their dashboard here um, just they, they seem to have got the, the idea of how to make things simple for developers um, and so this is also this is an overview of the function. You can go in here and you can see how many um, triggers and calls are being costed. You can get your logs, that kind of stuff. Nicely, nicely done. Um, I will be building another app with this. I'm going to try and get Svelte.js to run in Google Cloud. Um, I'm, I'm researching that at the moment, and uh, I'll let you know how that goes. So yeah, this is the overview of the Google Cloud deployments here. Uh, one more thing I want to show you is, uh, yeah, so one of the nice things that I do is that when I'm um, writing this, I can uh, watch TypeScript for changes so that it compiles the JavaScript file again and then runs functions framework so I can test the function without having to save and restart the server. So what I've done, I've installed this thing called TSC Watch, which is a, a dependency here. And once TypeScript has compiled successfully, it will then start the functions framework, which allows you to run a local version of the command. So yeah, so I can just go in here. Let me just show you this in the server right here. So I'll just go to Google Cloud. 
and npm run debug watch and that will compile TypeScript and then it will start up the the Google Cloud on the sorry the, the function on localhost. And the nice thing about having index files is that you can have multiple functions running on this one URL. If you don't have an index file, you specify the path, and this will only work for one particular function. So you can get around that by running everything under index. So that's it. Um, I hope this is helpful, and uh, I'll see you around soon.